something. What is it? What? This, this can't be. Is this the place that we've been looking for? No. Legend has it that this was the very place where the fossils were. This can't be. Is this, are my eyes deceiving me right now? No. Is this, this is just steam siege. This can't be. This can't be what we've been looking for for all these years. But it has to be in here. It, ha it just, it, it has to be in here. Let's get digging. I think, I think it's in here. There's got to be something. It's just a bunch of steam siege all in here. I'm not seeing it. Is that? No. It can't be. No, let me. My eyes must be deceiving me. My eyes must be deceiving me right now. This can't be it. This can't be it. Is this? Oh, here it is. This is what we've been looking for. For all of these years, we got a first edition fossil booster box. We're going to be opening up this entire thing right here. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we found this, guys. Let's jump into this booster box all the way back from the year 1999. We're going digging for fossils. You could potentially pull out a PSA 10 Dragonite worth $2,500, Lapras worth $2,500, Gengar. There's so many crazy, crazy old cards in here, and I can't believe we found it. I got to dig some of this out of here real quick, throw it in the bucket so we can get started here. But hopefully, everybody is doing really good tonight. I don't know why I got this little thing here. Maybe you guys can see. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's jump into this 1999 first edition fossil booster box. We're going to start off here. We're going to read the back because we're going back to some of the oldest Pokemon cards. Two million years ago, the first known Pokemon walked the Earth. Scientists thought many were extinct like dinosaurs because only fossils had been found until now. A remote island has been discovered in the South Seas, an island where Pokemon fossils have come to life. Dig in the fossil expansion. You'll find 20, 47 new Pokemon cards for the official trading card game. So let's go, guys. Let's jump into this first edition fossil booster box opening and uncover some of these fossils. How is everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But here we go. We are taking off the wrap off of this booster box. 21 years ago, the third set to ever be released by Pokemon. I have all this Steam Siege stuff. Hang on one second. We don't want any of that right now. Okay, there we go. We, we had to move that out of the way. But guys, check it out. We're going to jump right into here. and We're going to see how it looks. So, boom, the top is open, and I can already see we got Zapdos on the top here. So, let's check it out. We're going to take every single pack out of this booster box. These are roughly $6,000 plus now, so they're getting up there. We're going to mix all the packs up. We got Lapras right there. We got Aerodactyl as well. So, there's the third. There's three different pack arts for these. We're going to give these a real good mix up here, get them all nice and mixed up, and then we're going to dig into this box because we're opening up every single booster pack out of this 36 in this box so here we go we got one more second how's everybody doing tonight what are you guys looking to pull out of here let me know leave a comment right now in the chat let me know what you guys are looking to dig out of this box you looking for the gengar i really i my top two i'm gonna tell you guys right now dragonite and gengar are the top two cards i want to get out of here but there are 15 different hollows that you could get out of this booster box. Now, it's also the smallest set ever to be released for the main series of Pokemon with only 62 different cards. But, guys, we have a really good shot to get a lot of the big hitters out of here because there should be at least 12 hollows in this box. So, out of 15, we should have really good odds. Now, we can double up on some, but I think the odds are really good. So, let's go, guys. We're going to jump right into here. Packs mixed up. Let's get it. So, first off, we have... Kevin S. Going in with one pack. So let's start it off and see if we can get the first pack magic. Here we go, guys. I am so excited to crack into this. We've never opened up a first edition fossil booster box on the channel yet. Uh, we did unlimit it one time a few months ago. But like I said, guys, we're going for every single uh, set ever made by Pokemon. So card trick is going to be, it's going to be, what is it going to be? Three. Yes. Should be three for all the old school stuff. So let's see. Yes, so we're going to start it off with a Kingler. I'm so excited to get in here. Let's get it. We got an Amistar. 
So far, centering on these already is looking really good. We got a cloister. And you won't find any of these uncommons um, for like less than $30 to $50 in a PSA 10. We got a Horsey and Ekans. We got a Zubat. We got Nick D in the house. Been waiting all day for this. I'm addicted to Rev. Thank um, You're doing some really awesome things. Thank you. Thank you, Nick D, for the super chat. Chase S in the house. Mysterious Fossil. Krabby. Let's get a hit my Sorry, I missed that with the super chat. Energy Search. Let's see if we can start off with a bang. Oh, yes, we can. We got the Zapdos first edition holo card coming out of pack number one for Kevin S with the first pack magic. Now, check it out, guys. You'll notice here on the Zapdos, first of all, before I even say anything about the error on this, the centering on this is looking really good. We got to check the holo out. Uh, it, it looks really clean, guys. I think we already have a really good box. I'm going to throw a penny sleeve on the bottom half so we can examine this a little bit closer here. So check it out, guys. First off, this all the fossil Zapdos were an error. So if you check it out there, you can see there's not hollow pattern on the top left corner. That is because they left the outline of the evolution box, which you normally will see up there. And with that outline there, it actually caused there not to be a hollow there. So if you check out the Amistar next to it, you can see what I mean. The top left there, and then it's just missing the hollow. But that is a Zapdos. Let's check the back out. Now, Zapdos in a PSA 10, going for about $400 to $450. Guys, we got a winner. Check this out. Tell me, guys, do you see a single thing on here? I don't see a single, a single flaw on this card. It is beautiful, well-centered, no hollow, no uh, scratching on the hollows. Guys, this is a Poke Cave box already with the first pack. So, right off the bat, we know we got good quality cards. That is what you want to see. So, I'm super happy to see that out of the first pack. So, let's go, guys. Let's get the chat going. Let's get it pumped up. We have already 700 live viewers here tonight in the Poker Cave. And we are already making the magic happen. So, this one was going out to Kevin S. with the luck already. If you can believe it, off of the first one pack, it was the first pack. And it was one pack magic all in one. So let's go, guys. I'm going to throw this to the side. We're going to go to the next person. We have Mark N. Coming in with three packs. So we have the Zapdos. We got the Aerodactyl. And we got another Zapdos. So three packs for Mark N. Can we make the magic happen for Mark as well? Let's see what we could do here. Let's see, we got everybody in the chat here. We got Josh Evans. Hey, Rev and Mods. Let's get the alien like pulls tonight i like your thinking so check it out guys these packs are very easy to open um it just depends so some sets look look at that crisp this is like a perfect pack um perfect condition once we opened it up still so that is awesome to see three from the back and let's go guys we got a graveler golbat now the uncommons most of them are worth like 30 to 50 bucks in a PSA 10. Mr. Fuji and all the commons, you can't find a single PSA 10 common for less than like 25 bucks on eBay. So even the non hollows when I get to, when we get to non hollow rares, you guys might be shocked to see the values on a lot of these. Kabuto, Zubat, Energy Search. This is the first pack for Mark. Let's see if we can make it happen here. A Raichu non hollow but guys... That is not bad because a Raichu non hollow in a PSA 10 is looking like, um, actually, I don't know how much, it, oh, about 100 bucks. So, literally, if you could get this card in a PSA 10, you're talking about $100. And this is a non hollow. So, that's what I'm talking about. These have really, really good potential. Fossil, jungle, um, all these sets, they have good potential because there's some non hollows in this set that are worth $200, believe it or not. So, I'm going to show you guys a lot of these. And people are finally really starting to get demand for these cards. Um, and it's just, it goes to show it because the market is really dry for non hollows for the set, Cloyster, and even the hollows. So we're starting off with pack number two Sandslash, Shelter, Tentacle, Slowpoke, Zubat, Recycle, Mysterious Fossil. Kabuto coming up with the last card. Come on, guys. Let's get some luck going in the chat right now. I see everybody chatting and talking, but we need the good luck emojis. Let's get some alien pools tonight. Oh, we got an Articuno, but this one is also a non hollow Now, this one is off left to right, so I don't think it's within the parameters for a PSA 10. And I'm actually not sure what this card would go for in a PSA 10. Um, probably has to be 50 to 75 bucks if I had to guess, but this one won't get the 10. But there we go. Last pack. For Mark and let's see if we can finish it off right now. I need you guys to light it up. I see the good luck 
coming right now. So, here we go. Final pack for Mark. Can we get a hollow out of this third pack? Ghastly, Sandslash, Golem. That's a good one. I really like Golem. We got Ammonite, Ekans, Psyduck, Mysterious Fossil, Geodude, Slowpoke. Oh, I'm skipping one. Sorry. We got a Shelter. I think we might got something back here. Yes, we got a Magneton. I, uh, excuse me. Hollow number two. The last pack for Mark. Let's check out this card up close. Now, Magneton in a PSA 10 is around 250 bucks. So not the most expensive hollow out of here, but check it out. So this one is looking really good. Let's check out the hollow. Hollow is looking really clean again, which is really hard to find with these older cards. The back, beautiful. Like, if you guys look up close at these, right, and you check the corners, you're not seeing any types of little nicks or little, like, marks on the back there. So right there, you know you got a good box here. And I'm really happy to see that because that makes me happy because I know you guys are getting good cut, good quality cards. Whoever was printing these out back in 99 and was checking this box out and packed this box, a pat on the back, you know, great job. You did your job well. You did good quality check on here, and you made sure that 21 years later, here in the Poke Cave, we <laughs> can make the luck happen. So, there we go for Mark. Congratulations on your pulls. And we're going to keep moving along. We still have a ton more cards to open up. I'm so excited. Guys, make sure you stay until at least halfway through this box because we're going to have a pretty awesome giveaway and everybody is able to join up on that. So here we go. Next up, we got Samantha S back at it going in with the Aerodactyl. I like it. So the fossil Pokemon. Let's see the back here. Curved Wizards of the Coast logo on the back. Expert level official. This is official, guys. Nintendo licensed product. WOC, so that sounds for Wizards of the Coast, I believe. Uh, 06071, all these numbers on the back. But boom, let's go. I like opening these packs up uh, because they're really easy to open up. They don't, <laughs> sometimes it's a struggle when you open packs up, but these are like butter. And they're in a good way so that the pack still stays nice. All right, so let's do one pack magic for Samantha S. We got a Graveler, Golduck. I love, Golduck is another really awesome Pokemon. Always showed up Psyduck from the anime, if you guys remember that. Misty was really into Golduck, but the Psyduck that she had never evolved. There it is, the Psyduck. <laughs> I mean, you could just take a look at this one. It's like Pondering Life. Um, so check that out there. Psyduck and Golduck back to back. I like Psyduck more than Golduck, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you had to pick, let me know in the chat right now. Psyduck or Golduck? If you could pick one of them. Gambler, we're coming up on 900 live viewers. We're almost at 1,000, guys. Let's go. We got a Geodude and Ekans. We're going to finish it off with a Kabutop Solo. One-pack magic again for Samantha. I love it, guys. This is already two one-pack magickers in the house. And again, let's check this hollow out up close. The centering is beautiful. That is spot-on centering. Guys, look at that. The hollow, we're going to take a look. I don't see a thing again. <laughs> we're back at it. I love it because I know that the rest of this box is going to be quality and fire because, like, just check it out. Let's check the back out as well. So, Kabutops in a PSA 10. You're looking at about $500 to $600 as of now with market values. And plus, it's a beautiful card. Who doesn't like Kabutops? When I did, uh, I played soccer in elementary school and back then everybody was talking about pokemon even maybe i don't know a lot of people talk about pokemon now but back then everybody got to pick out which pokemon they were and people voted and i got voted as a kabutops because i was really fast whenever we did laps around the fields i was always in the front so my nickname was kabutops back then and i'll tell you right now i'll not win a race against anybody anymore <laughs> but all right so samantha congratulations again Next up, we're going to have Tyler S. Uh, or Tyler um, Simonson D. Is coming up next with two packs. So maybe we can do two pack magic out of here. I don't know. We already got some big hollow hits. I like to see that already. And we're not even close to being a quarter of the way done. This first edition fossil booster box. So Tyler, let's get your two packs out of here. Let's make it happen, guys. Boom. Aerodactyl and Lapras. Lapras, another awesome Pokemon. Here we go. Everybody always, like, always had to grab a Lapras. Uh, so you get that Surf move in Pokemon. There we go. Three 
from the back. Again, this is about a 62 card set. We got a Kingler, Tenacruel, Sandslash, Psyduck. So check out that reflection in there. That's pretty awesome. Cameron's in the house. Good luck, everybody. How's it going, Rev and Mods? Good to see you, Cameron. We got O Gold 1. We got Lady P going with the Gold Duck. Um, so everybody's choosing. It looks like we got a nice, a nice mix. Psyduck, Gold Duck. Okay. So yeah, I mean it's it's good, you know. It's a good mix. Tentacle, Grimer. We got a Slowpoke. Let's finish it strong after this horsey. And an Aerodactyl non-hollow. This is another hollow card that I love. Another Pokemon. Really awesome. You had to get the Fossil. You know, you had to do all that stuff to get the Aerodactyl. I don't know what this one goes for in a non-hollow. I don't think I wrote this down. But I would assume at least 50 bucks if you get that in a PSA 10. So, here we go. Old Gold, Old Gold 1 says, I hope I get a hollow. I hope you do too. Hey, Pokey Attic Bernie. Um, I know you said to your announcement, can I stay longer till the end and 10 minutes after you leave? Then head to Pete the Pac-Man stream. Oh, showing the support for Pete the Pac-Man. Absolutely. Really appreciate that, Pokey Attic Bernie. Always good to see you here. And Josh Evans says, yep, yeah, back then was all about Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. You couldn't, yeah, it was everywhere. We got a Golbat, a Weezing. I don't think we pulled this one yet. And Seedra. I feel like they always come back to back um, whenever we get new um Pokemon that we haven't seen here. So Geodude, one time when I was in elementary school, this is a true story, we were doing, um, it was in science class, and we were doing something with fossils and things like that, and I accidentally called one of them Geodude. I kid you not. Everyone just was like, bro, Geodude? <laughs> That's how much we were into Pokemon back then. It was just like consumed us. I mean, even now, even more, I gotta say. Nasty O's, thank you for an awesome pool, Rev. Alien magic is for real. Hey, congratulations. Thank you again. Got to recycle another Psyduck. I'm curious what this card is worth in a PSA 10. So TCG Revival, if you know off the top of your head what this is worth, let me know. A shelter. Let's finish it strong here for Tyler. Oh, we got a ditto non-hollow out of the second pack. So we didn't get a hollow out of here. But again, I didn't write down all of the prices for all the non-hollows. Uh, but actually, TCG Revival pretty much did most of this pricing because I was against the clock tonight. Um, so I appreciate that, TCG Revival. Um, but yeah, I would assume a lot of the rares go for at least 50 bucks, But some of them go up to $200. So hopefully, if we get one of those, I will let you guys know which that is. Maybe you guys could guess. All right. So we're going to go up to the next person now. We got Levi R. in the house going for the one-pack magic. So we had two people with one-pack magic. And both of them had one pack magic. So let's see if Levi will be the third. Here we go. So Levi R. Good luck to you. Out of this fossil. First edition booster pack. We're over a thousand viewers already live in the Poker Cave. Guys, that must mean we have some new people here. So if you are new, leave hashtag new in the live chat right now. We're going to welcome you to the Poker Cave where we do live vintage booster box openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. So you don't miss any of the lives. You'll be notified right when we go live here. And that is always the best way to watch these. Shelter. I think we got, we have Alien in the house. So we're going to get the Alien Luck. We already have the Alien Luck going tonight. And usually when we get it, we keep going on a roll. So let's see. Oh, we got the Haunter. But it is the non hollow version. And now this is a rare. And they also put Gengar as a rare in this set as well. Which Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I really hope we pull that one out. I'm not totally sure again what the value is on a PSA 10 Haunter, but I'll tell you right now, this one is beautifully centered, and then again, the backs on all these, I've been seeing these come out flawless, so it's always awesome to see when that happens. Nick D says, my all-time favorite trainer is Mr. Fuji. I'll buy all from anyone who pulls them. Hey, that is, and that's a really awesome card. I'm glad you said that because Mr. Fuji with all the Pokemon sitting there with him, really cool. And yeah, that's uh that is awesome. Mr. Fuji back in the day was always awesome to go see. So, next up, we are gonna have Mark K also going with one pack. So, all right, we missed the last one. So let's see if we can get the next one with one pack magic here. All right, so here we go. Got we're we're probably about a quarter of the way through this box, so we still have a long way to go. So guys. Make sure, if you didn't grab your popcorn already, I'm, I'm curious, guys. Let me know in the chat. Are you guys just chilling, like, 
eating your popcorn and, and hanging out, having dinner. What are you guys doing right now while you're watching the stream? So here we go. We have a Kingler. Usually when I watch YouTube videos, people open up packs, you know, um, Rhyme Style, Lootbox TV. I think Lootbox, I think I saw you here. Um, and everybody else, always, I'm usually packing up orders or just literally sitting at the table eating dinner or lunch or something. Ammonite and Almastar back to back. We got a Tentacle and Ekans. Zubat. Slowpoke. We got a Shelter. Gambler. Let's finish it strong. Oh, we got a Hypno, another holo. I think this is probably holo number four. How sick is that? Evolves from Drowsy. And this one again with the hollows. Super clean. Like, check that out. I don't see a single print line on any of these. Now, this one is definitely a little bit off left to right. It's not terrible, but I'm not sure if that's going to be in the parameters or not. It, it's pretty close, so we'll have to see. But either way, a Hypno and a PSA 10. You're going to be looking at about $250 to $300. So either way, these are really awesome to pull out of here. So congratulations to Mark K on your one-pack magic. So three out of four people that did one-pack got the one-pack magic out of this fossil box. Now, I'm not sure what PSA 9s are going for. We didn't have time to research those, but I know the 9s have been growing in value quite a lot because they're still mint cards, um, and they deserve it because of the quality you guys are getting there in a 9, especially if you're pulling them fr straight from a, a pack or a booster box. Um, we got USA Wolverine Gaming. Pokerev, thank you for always being super nice and allowing us to enjoy these amazing booster box openings. Oh, thank you so much. It is always, always so much fun to be able to do this with all of you guys live. I enjoy it just as much as probably you guys enjoy it. So I appreciate you. And thank you so much again for the super chat and for this community, guys. We're really doing some awesome things here. So we're going to keep moving along to the next person we have coming up is going to be JV back at it. And JV is going to be getting how many packs are you getting, Jay? Two packs. All right. So let's see if we can do two pack magic out of here. Two Lapras. I like it. So hopefully we can get the Lapras. Maybe we'll get him out of one of these. Lapras in a PSA 10 is going for about $2,500. So there are some big hitters. Of course, we want to get the Dragonite. And of course, we want to get the Gengar. And I mean, the other big hitters are Articuno and um, yeah, Articuno, Gengar, Lapras, and Dragonite. Those are like the big, big ones. But they're all awesome. You know, it's just the value wise, those are the top four. 160 calories. Um, my dad, Wayne, and my hamster, Jenkins, says, hey, hey, thank you so much. Um, what's going on? Thank you guys for being here. It's really awesome to hear that your hamster is watching as well. So, what is going on? We got a Cedra, a Graveler. So, let's see if we can pull something out of here for your hamster, maybe. Maybe we got the Hamster Luck, Psyduck, Shelder. We got a Kabuto, Krabby. We have a Slope. Wait, did I just say that? I don't know what happened. Hitmon Lee! Okay. <laughs> I was trying to read the, the chat. I'm multitasking here a little bit. We got a Hitmon Lee uh, coming in out of this first pack in a non holo Again, the centering is really good on these rares. And you guys know the rare non holos are definitely worth grading. And pretty much all the cards, not pretty much all of them, even the non holos are worth grading out of here. Especially now the market is really dry. So we're going to go three from the back. Last Final pack for Jay. Let's see if we can get final pack magic out of here. Golbat. We got a Tentacruel. A Horsey. Ammonite. Ekans. Psyduck. Mysterious Fossil. Geodude. Let's finish it out strong here. Slowpoke. And Hypno. Oh, I thought it was a hollow, but still. We got a Hypno non-holo out of this pack. The Hypno... So it kind of tricked me with the glare there. Sometimes it looks like a hollow. It's hard to tell on this one because of the dark purple. But that is a beautiful card. Hypno has always been a really mysterious Pokemon. But there we go. Hypno. So, out of the two packs, we didn't get a hollow for Jay, unfortunately. But thank you so much. And, of course, all the non hollows are definitely worth it. So, there we go. Let's throw that in here. Like so. And these again for Jay. Oh, we got Poke Deke in the house. Mad props to Poke Rev and the mods for being the best there is at what they do. Rev, if you were a Pokemon gym leader, which type would you be? Hmm. Poke Deke. That is a really good question. And thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out Poke Deke on YouTube and Instagram. Let me think about that one for a second while I grab the next pack, which is going to be Alex S with one pack. We're almost halfway there. 
Hmm, which type would I be? That's a good question. I might have to go with... Hmm, I don't know. I want to say fire, but I feel like that's going to be typical just so I can get Charizard. And then I want to say water because I could also get the Blastoise. Maybe I'd go with fire. I feel like fire would be a solid choice. Uh, maybe my lineup would be Arcanine, Charizard. Ooh, we got a Slowbro out of here. Um, What else would I throw in there? Got a Kingler. Magmar for sure. I really like Magmar. Um, Who else? Who else would I throw in there? I don't know, guys. That's actually a really good question. If you guys are in the live chat right now, um, go ahead and answer Deke's question. Let's see what people would choose. We got a Psyduck, an Ekans, a Geodude. Let's finish it strong. Oh, we got the Muck coming in as a non hollow rare. Now, this one is not one of the most desirable uh, rares to pull out of here. I'm not sure what this would go for in a PSA 10 for a non hollow rare, but. Again, these are really clean. So if you check out the centering, for, the, for those of you guys that do not know, the centering is the yellow around the border. You want it to be as even as possible. You want to look on the back and you want to see if you see any white specks or anything like that. So I think there's a tiny one there on the left corner. But other than that, really clean cards are coming out of here. Brian L with the super chat. Welcome to the Poke Cave, says Brian. <laughs> That's awesome. That is so cool. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> XPO Games with the super chat. Now I know you, I, I'm, I know you are good friends with Loot Box, so this is a, um, a funny one here. So we got who's your favorite Loot Box TV member, and why is it Andrew? Sorry, Juice, not sorry. Ah, uh, you can't pick one of them. They come together. It's like a two for one deal. But either way, they they are awesome. Loot Box TV, always awesome to watch. So we're gonna keep moving along because next up we have. Who do we have next? We have... Hold on a second. Did I mess something up? Uh-oh. No, I'm good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We have uh, Eric C. coming up next with two packs. So there we go. For some reason, I thought Alex had two packs for a second, but it was just one. So we got Eric C. with two packs. The two Zapdos. So let's get it. Let's see if we can get maybe a Zapdos out of here. Hopefully we get that Dragonite soon. I would love to get a Dragonite out of this box. Demos Gaming Thing says, I think we all know what, what the epic Pokedeek would be with the Thunderbolts. LOL. Thanks, Revan Mods, for these awesome openings. Yeah, I think we do, though. And thank you so much, Demos Gamings, for here for being here um, and for the super chat. So here we go. Tentacruel. There it is, the Mr. Fuji. An awesome card. Really awesome card. Magmar. There he is. We've been looking for you, Magmar. That is another really cool Pokemon. We got an Ammonite, and there's only 62 cards in this set again, guys, so if you see on the bottom, Jungle was only 64 as well, so really small set, so you're seeing a lot of the sames, but, you know, there still are new ones that we're seeing in here, and plus it's always cool to see these rare old Pokemon cards, so we do have a Zapdos out of here, but it is the non holo version, so this one actually, in a PSA 10, believe it or not, is worth about 100 bucks. so if you grade this in a 10, you've already had a $100 card right there. Which is amazing. And, and and those of you guys that don't know, the first edition, so you could tell it has a first edition stamp there. And then on the pack, it'll have a first edition stamp on the pack and then on the box. So the box of this, they have it really like, they tried to make it scary. It says caution, Pokemon, fossils, danger, stamped on it. So the design was really awesome on this box. All right. Eric C. This is your final pack. Guys, give Eric the good luck right now in the chat. Let's see if you can finish it strong. We got a Slowbro. Golduck is back. Graveler. Energy Search. Psyduck as well. Ekans. Or Snake. Backwards for those of you guys that don't know. See? Pokemon's clever. Look at that. Snake. Ammonite. Gambler. Let's finish it strong, guys. Let's go with the luck right now. After the Grimer, of course. I didn't call it last card yet. Magneton coming in as a non hollow Another one that's not super... Super desirable, but of course there are always fans of every Pokemon. It doesn't matter which one, so they're all awesome in their own way. Hey, we got Jess Plays in the house. Good to see you here. Who else is here? Uh, Grave Bloom. Oh, I think I know who you are. I think I know who you are, judging by your, your image on the thing there. We got uh, Shiny Goggles. We got Alien, of course. Uh, Kelvin P. Joking Pokemon. Uh, Mr. Ouch is here, so a lot of people are hanging out here in the Poke Cave, which is really awesome to see. Always appreciate seeing new faces. So, next, we are going to have, coming up, it's going to be, I believe it is, 
Andrew M, yes. So Andrew M's going in with one pack. We're almost halfway there, guys. We're going to announce the next giveaway. And at the end of this booster box opening, I don't know why I didn't even say this yet. But at the end of this booster box opening, when we announce the next booster box that we're opening up the following Tuesdays, you guys might lose your mind. I probably should have I probably should have mentioned that. So those of you guys that stuck around this long so far, you're going to hear it here first. Next week's booster box opening is going to be crazy. Absolutely crazy. So you guys are going to stick around to see that. We had a Weezing, a Seedra, a Slowbro, Ammonite. I'm not just saying that. It's it's ridiculous. A Slowpoke, Psyduck back at it. A beautiful. This is probably, in my opinion, of course, the most iconic Psyduck card out there. Like when I think of Psyduck, this resembles Psyduck just perfectly. Looking in the water, confused, kind of depressed. That's it for Psyduck right there. Recycle. Shelter, let's finish it strong. A Zubat, and... Oh, we got an Articuno, one of the top four biggest hits value-wise, and I might add a beautiful card. So there it is. Check it out, guys. We got to throw this one right in the sleeve because this one in a PSA 10, you're looking at $1,200 to $1,300. A beautiful, beautiful card. Now, we got to check for print lines because this card, it's very light on the hollow, so sometimes if there are scratches, they'll show up. So hopefully there's none. So let's take a look. I don't think I see. Oh, yes, I do. So that's why this card is tough to get in a PSA 10. I believe was that. Yeah, that is a, a pretty big print line there, unfortunately. But there there's a bunch on the bottom. But this one just shows how tough it is to get in a PSA 10. So this one with that print line would not get a PSA 10. And actually, the back is off a little bit. So this could possibly even be an eight. An eight, a nine, or an eight. Um, I'm not sure what a nine goes for for an Articuno. So if TCG revival, if you're in the house, let me know. Either way, a beautiful card, an awesome hit. Um, you can't go wrong pulling a hollow at all out of these packs. Um, that is always a win, no matter what the condition is on them. John B in the house as well. We got Dr. McMuffins here. Hey, we got Unlisted Leaf in the house. Good to see you, man. Really awesome to see you hanging out here in the Poke Cave. I think I don't know when you showed up, but possibly. Could have been because of you, Ando, uh, that that Articuno appeared. So, I'm excited to see what else we're going to get out of here. And this is another one-pack magic coming out of here. So, next up, we're going to have Ashley F. Going in for two packs, and I think we might be at halfway after this one. Oh, almost. After these, there's another one down there. And then we'll hit halftime with a pretty awesome giveaway that you guys are going to stick around for. The Talking Psyduck is in the house. Josh Evans says, save all the Psyducks and send a real breaking Nate. Yeah. Um, Real Breaking Nate is awesome. I sent him, I actually did send him um, a Psyduck or two, I forget, in PSA 10. I forget which one I sent him, but I did send him some because uh, Real Breaking Nate is after a complete Psyduck collection in PSA 10. So here we go. We got a Seedra. Golbat. Maybe we'll get the Ando luck right now. We got a Mr. Fuji. A Krabby. Kabuto. Geodude. Grimer. We got the Energy Search. Horsey, can we get the Dragonite, the Gengar, and the Lapras? Those are the ones, the big hitters for Hollows. Oh, we got a Zapdos 2, number 2 Zapdos coming in in a Hollow form. This one in a PSA 10 is looking at, I believe it was what, 500, 600 bucks? Yeah, or 400 to 450 bucks in a PSA 10. A beautiful card. Another legendary bird out of here. Absolutely amazing, guys. Like, check out the artwork on here. The first ever printed legendary birds. Uh, coming out of this set, so check that out. It has the error on the top there again. So for those of you guys that are just joining up right now, the error is the evolution box on the top left. They had the outline of it there, and that is why the hollow is missing on the top left. And that's for every single Zapdos Fossil First Edition card. So a beautiful card, very well centered. Um, I mean, look at the hollow. Very, very clean. Very beautiful card. So there it is. It has a great shot at a PSA 10. Already out of the first pack um, for Ashley. So we got the luck here. Um, can we get a second one? And of course, as soon as Unlisted Leaf joins up, we start getting the crazy fire pools. So I'm sure we're going to continue seeing these because, of course, we got the luck. So here we go. Team Poker Girlfriend is in the house. Jimmy S., the broke nerd. We got Dave J., all right, let's go, guys. So let's see if we can get double pack magic out of here. We got three from the back. We're almost halfway through. We already have some crazy, crazy pulls. I think we probably got about six hollows out of here so far. Ghastly, 
Arbuck. I don't think we had Ghastly or Arbuck yet. I don't believe we had an Arbuck. Zubat. Gambler. Recycle. Krabby. We got a Shelter. An Ekans or Snake backwards. Mysterious Fossil. And a Hitmonlee. Non hollow, but hey, that is awesome. So one really good hollow pull out of the two packs plus all of the non hollow cards. So here we go. That is awesome. So what else is going on here? So you know what? Let's do the uh, let's do the giveaway right now because you guys have been awesome hanging out here. We're almost at 1,200 live viewers. We're going to announce a pretty awesome giveaway, which actually is going to be from somebody right here in the Poke Cave community that wanted to give back, which is unbelievable. Now, to start the story off, they actually ended up winning one of the giveaways the other prior week, and they said, you know what? I want to give back to the Poke Cave, and I was... I was pretty speechless. We were emailing back and forth. So, Kevin's Collectibles said, I'm going to send you a bunch of booster packs, and I want you to give them away to everybody in the Poke Cave. And I'll tell you guys how we can win those right now, and I'm going to show you the packs. I haven't looked at them yet, but check it out. They're in this bubble wrap. Everybody say thank you to Kevin's Collectibles. And what's up, met 7 Gabe? Thank you so much. Let's get the Dragonite, he says. Yes, let's do it. So welcome to the Poke Cave, um, and this is from Kevin's Collectibles. So we're gonna see what's in here. These are all gonna be going to one person. Everybody, gotta say thank you to Kevin's Collectibles. Here we go. Ooh, I already see some Rebel Clash. I haven't even touched a single Rebel Clash booster pack yet. I was supposed to get them and they never came, um, which was kind of upsetting. But hey, it's cool to see them here. So again, Kevin's Collectibles is doing this for all of you guys. Rebel Clash. We got two Rebel Clash. Oh, these are really nice looking. We got. Two, it looks like. Roaring Skies. Blister Packs. These are really nice looking. I've never held these either. Oh, and then we got some Sun and Moon Ultra Prisms. Beautiful artworks on there. There's two, it looks like. And these are the Blister ones, which are... Oh, I think I see some Evolutions. Yes, I do. Oh, we got Blastoise and Venusaur. Evolutions. And I'm sure Kevin is probably live here right now. So these are all going to go out to one lucky per winner. All you have to do to win these packs is leave a comment when this live is over if you're watching the replay you can do it now but when the comment section is up this will be uploaded once this is over you go into the comment section listen very carefully this is very important what i want you guys to do and what kevin wants you guys to do is let us know if you could only have one pokemon in real life so not in a make-believe world in real life that would be your best friend and would be by your side which pokemon would you choose and remember, you can only choose one Pokemon. So once the live is over, guys, let me know and let Kevin know in the chat. And we're going to pick one winner next week for all these awesome packs. We're going to keep them sealed. So, guys, make sure you do that at the end of this. I'll remind everybody again later on. But thank you again to Kevin's Collectibles. Really awesome to see people give it back um, to this Pokemon community that we have going on here in the Poke Cave. So let's go, guys. We're going to keep moving on here uh, with this booster box opening. So next up, we... We're going to have John C. going in for one pack. Let's see if we continue the one pack magic out of here. We got the Zapdos booster pack. So, here we go. Hey, I, I appreciate it, everybody in the uh, the chat right now, uh, saying thank you to Kevin. It really uh, means a lot to see that because people I, constantly are giving back to each other here, and it's so amazing to see. Um, Thorson48 says, Unlisted Leaf is in the house. You're a legend, my man. Yes, Ando is... For sure, a legend. Coming up on almost 2 million subscribers. It's going to happen this year, guys. So incredible to see somebody uh, that passionate um, and just, you know, keep going and make it and build an incredible community. So always inspiring to see uh, what Ando is doing on YouTube. Mysterious Fossil, Geodude. We got a Slowpoke. Shelter. Zubat, let's get it out of one pack. Oh, we got it! A Haunter Hollow! Another really awesome hit. And this is the the evolution before Gengar, of course, but Haunter is just remembering from the anime, just such a funny and cool Pokemon. Um that those episodes with Sabrina really bring me back, and they're one of the most memorable because of Haunter. So just like like a really fun type of Pokemon. You know what, Kevin? If I had to pick one, I'd probably go with a Haunter, honestly. Because I remember when Ash got the Haunter, too, and it was like, stepped his game up and just kind of made everybody laugh, you know? At the end of the day, it's all about having fun, so Haunter kind of resembles that. Um, you wouldn't think that if you didn't watch the anime and just looking at the Pokemon now, but beautiful card. Let's check the Hollow out. Outstanding. Look at that. 
Don't see anything on the hollow. Really beautiful. And these have the first edition stamp. The centering is really good on this one. Let's check the back out. Beautiful card, guys. A beautiful looking first edition Fossil Haunter. Again, out of one pack. We had, I, I can't, I lost track already of how many one pack magic people we've had. It was at least four, I believe. At least four. Oh, I love that card, guys. Let me know. What do you think? Haunter or Gengar? Which one? It's a tough choice. I've always kind of thought about it. I'm like, I really like Gengar, but at the same time, if you link the anime to it with the Haunter, it's it's really cool. So, John C., congratulations on your one-pack magic. We are halfway through this first edition Fossil Booster Box opening. Over 1,100 live viewers. So, if you're new here, my name is PokerRev. This is the Poke Cave, and we're doing this three times a week. So, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. You don't want to miss any of these. All right, so we're going to keep moving along. Next up, we're going to have Jordan D. going in. With two packs. I like that. So you got two chances. And we're still hunting. Oh, I'm sorry. And the Haunter in a PSA 10 worth about $300 to $350. Now the big brother of Haunter, Gengar, is looking over 1000 bucks, Close to $1,300. Hey, Poke Beast. So we have Rev and we added Unlisted Leaf. Dude, you're becoming a legend. Another banger, bro. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much, Poke Beast. I always enjoy seeing you here. And I appreciate the kind words and the super chat. Um, it's just really awesome to be able to do this and be a part of such a great community. We got a Weezing, a Cedra, we got a Golbat, and again, this is for Jordan D. So guys, in the chat right now, make sure you wish Jordan good luck on these two packs. We're still looking for, that's, is that one of the first, I feel like we haven't got Krabby yet. Can you guys let me know? Am I just losing my mind? Did we get Krabby out of here? Somebody let me know in the chat. I'm on a 15 second delay though, so... We got a Gambler, an Ammonite. I'm feeling like something good's going to be coming. Oh, a Hypno, and that is a non-hollow. Again, this one's always hard to see if it's a hollow for whatever reason. Because of the purple, the dark background, I think, is what does it. Um, oh, Ando's saying Dragonite time. All right. Oh, if he said it, I wouldn't be surprised if Dragonite's coming up very, very soon here. So... Ooh, all right. A lot of people are now saying it. Jason wants to see the Lapras. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Everybody's getting pumped up. That's what we need to get the fire pools out of here. So, three from the back for Jordan D. Second pack. Let's see if Dragonite's going to appear. Here we go. We need Dragonite. We need Gengar. We need Lapras. Um, these are the other big hitters that we're looking for. Energy Search, Ammonite, Shelter. All right, guys, tell you what, I'm not going to look. I'm going to close my eyes. You tell me if it's good. How did we do? Did we get a Dragonite? What are we looking at? Oh, a Zapdos, and it's a non holo though. Uh, still cool because I think Zapdos is worth 100 bucks in a PSA 10, and if you guys have been watching closely at all the cards coming out here, the quality on these has been beautiful. So either way, non holo rares, it's kind of like – it's like a, almost a win, really, with these non hollows coming out of here because a lot of times you won't really get non hollow rares being worth something crazy like that. Um, and I'll tell you guys right now, the Dragonite is the one if you get in a non hollow form, which we haven't got yet, surprisingly, either hollow or non hollow, uh, being worth $200. Dragonite is like the Charizard of this set. Everybody loves Dragonite. If there wasn't a Charizard, I think Dragonite would really be even higher up there, but it's competing with Charizard. So. All right, next up, we have Richard T with two packs. We got an Aerodactyl and another Aerodactyl. So the double Aerodactyls. And, of course, this Aerodactyl hollow in here in a PSA 10 worth about 500 bucks, which is also another Pokemon that I do really like. It's all the Gen 1 Pokemon. I just can't get enough of them. Three from the back. All right, so let's see if the, dra or the Dragonite is going to come out of here. We got the Zero of Time in the house. Good to see you. Um... All right, we got a Magmar. Alien saying some stuff. Uh-oh. When Alien starts talking, something might happen. Hey, Tom, good to see you here. We got the Pink Mist in the house, too. Geodude. Ampharos fan is here. So we got another. We got an Ampharos fan. Shelter. Zubat. Come on, guys. Let's go. I'm ready for a Dragonite. Ando says he's ready for a Dragonite. I'm pretty sure Alien can make this happen. We got a Moltres, and it is the non-hollow version. So another of the one of the legendary birds. We didn't pull this one yet. Uh, Moltres is worth 100 bucks in a PSA 10 in a non-hollow form. So a beautiful card either way. 
the first of the legendary birds to come out of um, Pokemon cards with the fossil set, which was the third set ever released by Pokemon. It's one of the oldest sets in English that you can get your hands on. Um, I remember opening these up as a kid. Like, base, jungle, fossil, and rocket was like, I was always constantly digging into these packs, quite literally. We got a Golduck, Weezing, Ghastly, Slowpoke, Horsey. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope I'm going at a good pace for everybody. Energy Search. We got a Psyduck, Ekans. Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready to get this, this Dragonite. I don't know about you guys, or a Gengar, or a Lapras. Oh, there he is, but he's in a non hollow but either way, that is still really good to see out of this box. My heart skipped a beat for a second. My stomach, I just, oh. This is a really nice looking non hollow I, I, I'm just, I'm really happy, guys. Whenever we get a box, which seems like nine out of ten times, we get a box with, like, cards that come out really, really nice. Evolve some Dragonair. You got Dragonite, um, 100 HP. Got the first edition stamp, the fossil logo on the side there. This is nostalgia right here. So the back is looking really clean on here. The front really well centered. I'm even gonna throw this one a card saver real quick because of my uh, OCD here, if you guys don't know. If I had it my way, I would add on two hours to each of these recordings and just put every single card in a card saver. But nobody wants to see me sleeping up cards here for two hours. But here we go. And throw these in here. And either way, they get very well protected during shipment. And we put them in these bags here to keep them nice and safe. So it's just my OCD that kicks in sometimes. Here we go. Richard. So congratulations, Richard. Even though you didn't get a um, hollow card, that non hollow Dragonite is really good. So next up, we have. Who do we have? I got to double check here. We have um, Anthony C with one pack. Let's see if we can get another one pack Magicker. Hey, Mystic Mew. I made it. Just got off of work. Any Dragonite yet? Want to see that Gengar as well? Nope, we haven't got Dragonite or Gengar, but we've been having some really good luck. Um, Ando says, hey, my non hollow boy. <laughs> yeah, Dragonite is awesome. Dragonite and Gengar. Uh, so hopefully those are coming up soon, guys. We're getting there. We still have more than half of the box left. I'd say about at least... 35% of the box left, I would say. So we still got plenty of chances here to get some more of the big hitters. We got a Ghastly, a Golduck. We got a Mr. Fuji. Krabby. Come on, let's get that Dragonite. I'm ready to see it. Tentacle, Recycle, Gambler, Horsey, Ekans, Zubat, and... Oh, it's the Lapras again. We keep getting trolled. We got a Lapras non-hollow. We had the Dragonite non-hollow before that. It came out of the Lapras pack, which is pretty uh, pretty cool to see. But this one is worth 80 to 100 bucks, also in a PSA 10. Um, a beautiful card. I mean, Lapras just sitting in the ocean there. This reminds me of the game when, you know, I always remember needing the, the move Surf, and I always remember getting a Lapras and just surfing around. Pokemon 2019. I hope we pull a Charizard or a Blastoise. Mm, that would be pretty cool. I mean, sometimes I grab packs in the Poke Cave and we end up pulling a Charizard even when that's not <laughs> uh, what's scheduled for this. All right. We got the 90s Time Machine in the house. And of course, the, the mods, guys. Trainer Trey, Blastoise 93, Pete the Pac-Man, um, TCG Revival, all here. Links are in the description down below. They make this all possible. All right, next up. We got um, Russell S. with uh, How many packs you got, Russell? One pack. All right, Russell S. Let's see if we can make it happen with one pack here. So, I saw a tentacle in there. Three from the back. Cedra, Golduck, the Loch Ness Lapras, says Trainer Trey. <laughs> tentacle. The tentacle and tentacles always a member of that ep remind me of that episode when they took over the, the city. I always had dreams about that one, too. When that, when that episode came on, it was, like, pretty ridiculous how big the Tentacruel were on that episode. Shelter, Krabby, and we have a Gengar. Guys, we got trolled three times in a row, but still a non-hollow, especially a nice condition one like this one. Um, you're looking at 100 bucks, like $80 to $100 for a Gengar non-hollow, which is really good. Um, I mean, the card is like perfectly centered on here so check that out you don't have to worry about all in here because you don't have the hollow and all you have to do is worry about the back a little bit which i mean you guys have seen on these the backs are beautiful the fronts are looking good the centering is good so we got a really nice non-hollow pull out of there uh the gengar 
So look at that artwork again, guys. If we can get that one with the hollow in the background, oh, <clears throat> that would that would make my night. Really, any of those, even the Dragonite too, of course. The Lapras. Let's go, guys. We still got plenty of hollows left. We should still have like probably at least four more out of here. So we still got plenty of chances. Let's keep the, the good vibes going in the chat right now. Let's get the luck going. Let's see if we can make it happen. So here we go. Next, we have Earthworm John in the house coming back again. Going for one pack magic. So I like to see sometimes with the Zapdos artwork, will this be the one where we get big hits? Which, I mean, we've had a lot of really big hits, but either way, it's really awesome to see. Hey, Trainer Adam is in the house with the super chat. Thank you so much. Excited for my pack opening on Sunday. Mega punch the like button. Really awesome. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I don't believe I've seen you here before, if I'm not mistaken, but welcome to the Poke Cave. And again, if anybody is new here, leave hashtag new in the chat. Let's see how many new people are here. Golduck, Graveler, Tom B. Intro was fire. Also digging the old anime references. Thank you so much, Tom. Always enjoy seeing you here. I've been seeing you here almost every time now, so it's really great seeing you. And um, yeah, I'm glad you liked the intro. That was uh, last minute, thought it up. Grab some of the kids' toys and we just did it. So we got a recycle. Let's go. We got a mysterious fossil. Come on, let's get that Dragonite. Oh, we got a Hitmonlee though. Nice. Hitmonlee coming in with the kick. I can't kick here. <laughs> but Hitmonlee with that kick. Another cool Pokemon from Gen 1. This one in a PSA 10 is, is going for $550 to $600. So it is a good hit. Any hollow out of here, pretty much almost every hollow is worth like a good chunk of money in a PSA 10. So the centering is off a little bit, but that's another one pack magicker. Hollow, let's check it out. I don't think I see anything. This one is also a light hollow on the background. So things will show up, but I don't, I mean, you guys tell me, I don't see anything. I don't believe it's hard to see. I thought I saw something for a second there. Not sure. I don't, I don't think so though, but yeah. So there it is. The Hitmon Lee, a beautiful, beautiful card out of one pack. That's gotta be one pack magicker number four. Five, I'm gonna guess. There it is. Hitmon Lee. Boom. Beautiful card. I love Fossil. I love the first three sets. The first four. Or the first all of them almost. <laughs> like, I can't really pick, but these are the most memorable for me, if that makes sense, because um, you know, these are the first sets that we started with. I mean, we started with base, or a lot of us did anyway, and they just bring back the most memories of, uh, you know, picking these packs up and opening them. So, Earthworm John, congratulations on your one-pack magic. So, next, we have Daniel C. with two packs. We're getting there. We probably have about ten more packs left, so we still got plenty of chances. We probably have, like, three or four more shots at hollows out of this box, so good odds, a good ratio um, of pulls here. Oh, let's go. We still got a shot. We still have a shot. We have multiple shots here at getting the big hitters. <laughs> and Voga says, love that car card. Shout out to Bruce Lee. Yeah, shout out to Bruce Lee. Thank you so much for the super chat. All right, Weezing, Zubat. And guys, if you have questions, feel free to talk to the mods in the house. They're super friendly. They're always willing to help everybody out. Um, and they all have their own links down below to check out. Tentacle, Recycle, let's go. I want to see the Dragonite. Everybody wants to see it. Oh, an Aerodactyl as a non hollow Still, um, I don't think I had the price on here for this non hollow but probably at least 50 bucks, I would assume. So we got one more pack, and that came out of the Aerodactyl pack. So, beautiful card. I mean, if you look at the background now, you can see all the trees, and there's like mountains and everything. A really nice looking card. Second Aerodactyl pack for Daniel C. So let's go. Let's get it. Oh, okay. I I'm seeing the Gengar emojis in there too. So those are always good luck. I'd love to get a Gengar out of here for you guys. Kingler, Seedra, Amistar, we got a Gambler, Horsey, Ekans, Zubat, Geodude, Mysterious Fossil. Let's go, guys. Krabby and oh, what good boot tops, non hollow. So, not bad. Still, you know, when the non hollows come out clean and when the, you know, in general, all the non hollows when they're coming out clean, it's always a good sign. Because like I mentioned, PSA 10 fossil cards, if you look now, you can't find a single one for less than 25 bucks for the commons. The young commons, probably 30 to 50 bucks each. And then, um, you know, the rares, anywhere from 50 to $200 for just the non-hollow cards. That's how hard these 
difficult these cards are to find now. Everybody wants complete sets of Fossil, Jungle, all the originals. Next up, we have Hector H with One Pack Magic. So let's see if we can get maybe maybe like our sixth One Pack Magic person in here. And guys, don't forget, stay till the very end of this. I'm going to show you what next week's booster box opening is, which you can grab at thepokecave.com. Don't go yet. It's not live yet, and everything's sold out. But if you wait till the very end, once I show it on the screen, that'll be your chance to grab packs. And I'm telling you guys right now, it's a really good set. It is a very sought-after set. And it's one that we've not done here in the Poke Cave. And every time we do an opening here in the Poke Cave, so far, it's always been sets that we have not opened yet. So we're trying to hit every single set, first edition and unlimited. Ammonite, Shelter, come on, guys. I want to see that Dragonite. We got a Psyduck and a Dragonite again trolling us with a non-hollow. But either way, the non-hollow, like I mentioned, is first off, it's beautiful. You got that rainbow background there. You have, um, it's just sitting there. Really awesome. The colors pop. Um, but besides that, in a PSA 10, you're looking at a $200 card. Like, just look at that. Even without the hollow pattern, that's a solid card. I'm glad we pulled so far at least two non hollows out of here for the Dragonite. I'm going to throw that in here just for just because I want to. <laughs> All right. So we're getting there. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight more packs to go. I'm sure there are still plenty of hollows. In this first edition Fossil Booster Box. Guys, if you've been enjoying this, if you could, smash the like button. If you don't want to smash the like button, just lightly tap it. Whatever you got to do to hit the like button on here um, definitely helps out the channel a ton. And I really appreciate your guys' support through these last, what has it been, five months since we started the channel up? Something like that. It's all been a blur. It's been going so quickly. But next, we have Dana M with two packs. We got the Lapras and the Fossil Pack. So here we go. In the background of this box, you can see Kabutops, Shellfish, Energies, Fighting, Length, um, and Weight. 89 pounds. Nice. That's why Kabutops is so quick. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go right now. Everybody in the chat, let's get it. We're over 1,200 live viewers. Here we go. Boom. Three. All right. Ooh, all right. Yeah, guys, if you want to... <laughs> somebody said Steam Siege is going to be next. Michael P. Let me know, guys, what you think the next booster box opening is going to be for next Tuesday. I'm curious if anybody can guess it. All I'm going to say is it is a really good set, a really popular set, and it, it's a big set. It is a big set. I'm really excited for that one to tell you guys. Mysterious Fossil. Grimer. We got a Kabuto. Again, this is for Dana. Everybody wish Dana good luck on these pulls. Oh, we got an Aerodactyl Hollow, another one out of this box. This must be Hollow, maybe number nine or something, I'm going to guess. Beautiful. So there it is with the Hollow pattern. So actually with the Hollow on this one, you can't quite see the artwork as well, but you got that beautiful shine. Now this one is a lighter Hollow, so I'm going to take a look here and see if there are any print lines, which sometimes there are on these lighter ones. Yep. So that is the same spot as the... Um, what was the other card? I think it was, a, uh, I forget what the one had the print line on it, but there was, or the Articuno had that print line there. So the same print line there on the Aerodactyl because it is a very light hollow pattern, but a beautiful card. Like, look at that Aerodactyl almost coming out of the frame there before they had EX cards and uh, level Xs and stuff when the cards would kind of pop out, but a beautiful beautiful card and a beautiful pull already out of the first pack for Dana. So one pack down, one to go. Can we get double pack magic? I don't think we've had anybody get double pack magic tonight yet, but maybe Dana will. So pack number two for Dana should be at least three more hollows, I believe. Trainer Trey, thank you so much. Um, Trainer Trey, always keeping track of all the pulls that we get. So according to Trainer Trey, it looks like if there are 12 hollows in here, we should have at least three more. So we're going to have some really a good amount of hollows coming up soon. Kabuto, Zubat. Again, this is for Dana. This is Dana's final pack out of the two. First was the Aerodactyl. See if we can finish it strong here. We got a Gambler and a Haunter non hollow. This is another one that tricks me with that dark purple background. It's hard to see if it's a hollow, but really awesome card either way. I believe this one also was. Uh, how much was this one? Oh, it doesn't say, but a beautiful card, guys. A Haunter, non hollow. So, congratulations to Dana for your pulls out of the two packs the Lapras and the Zapdos pack. You got the hollow Aerodactyl out of there. 
All right, we're coming up. We still have about three more people left. We got to finish it strong, guys. Next, we got John B. Now, I know John is in the house tonight, so everybody wish John good luck right now. Let's see if we can do it. We got three packs for John. Then we can make it happen. So we got three, and then after that, I believe we have three more. So we got six packs left total. We still have about three. We technically should have three more hollows, I believe, at least. So this, these odds right now for these final people are looking very good. Let's see what we got. Boom. One pack opened out of the six. Let's see if we can get at least three hollows out of these final six packs. Arbuck, let's finish it strong, guys. Mr. Fuji, Kabuto. We got the Krabby, Slowpoke. It's such a basic artwork, but it just really does the job well for Slowpoke. Just kind of standing out there in the grass. Always looking. Somewhere with Slowpoke. You never know where Slowpoke's looking or what Slowpoke's thinking of. Scrimer, Horsey, Gengar, non hollow. All right, I'll take another Gengar. We keep getting trolled. Um, it's not it's not really a troll though, because like I said, a lot of these big hitters are all of them basically worth about a hundred bucks in a PSA 10 in non hollow form. Either way, beautiful. I love Gengar. The original, the first printing of Gengar in fossil set. Really awesome. And all these sets came out in 99. So base was first, then jungle, and then fossil came afterwards. Um, and they, you know, they were completing all of the Pokemon, the original Pokemon. So you had to go through all those three sets. Mr. Fuji. Look at that Pikachu. <laughs> Looks like a doll. Amistar. Sandslash. Kabuto. This is for Jonathan. So let's go. We got to recycle. Tentacle. Grimer. I was just looking at that one for a second. Kind of just... Looks like it's coming out of that barrel. Got the moon in the background. Sometimes when you look at cards up close, you really see new things there. It looks like there's a fence in the background, a bunch of other barrels. It's always cool to kind of just sit and look at them, especially if you get them in binders. It's really cool to just check them out all next to each other. A Zapdos, another non-hollow. So there were two non-hollows out of the three packs so far for Jonathan. We got one final pack. Can we get that big hit? Everybody in the chat right now, let's get it. We're almost at 1,300 live viewers. Let's give Jonathan the Poke Cave luck. Everybody start shooting out the alien emojis, the fire, and let's get that Gengar good luck emoji right now for the final pack for Jonathan B. Let's go. I want to see that Dragonite right now. This is our, ch our shot to make it happen. We got a Golem, Mr. Fuji. Gavin says the next pack is going to be the lucky one, so this is it. Kabuto, Tentacool, we got a horsey, a mysterious fossil, Ekans, Grimer. Everybody's, I'm looking at the chat right now, that's why you see me looking to the side. I, I'm seeing everybody bring, bring the luck in, um, and I'm going at a pace where we can get that good luck coming. This is going to be it, let's go guys, let's get it. Oh, there it is! We got the Dragonite! You guys brought the luck! Jonathan B. finished it off so strong! Let me get this one in a sleeve immediately. Ooh, yes! The one of the best, if not the best. It's the best. I'm gonna say it. It's gotta be the best one. The best hit you could get out of this box coming in is the Dragonite. Woo! Yes! Check it out. It's got that beautiful... Rainbow background that really just kind of flows so nicely once they put that hollow pattern on top of there. Um, and it gets that nice blended rainbow effect. Look at the sparkle in the background. That is a beautiful card. Just looking at it right now, the centering is insane. John is freaking out. I just saw your chat fly by. Oh, the centering is like Spot on the hollow pattern. I don't see a thing on there. Beautiful. Now let's check out the back. And guys, oh, there's nothing. I don't see anything on the corners. Nothing on that corner and nothing on that corner. I'm going to tell you this has a really good shot at a PSA 10. And guys, this card in a PSA 10 is worth $2,500. So, John, congratulations. I know you just witnessed that, so you're probably freaking out right now. That final pack came in clutch. We got it, guys. You made this happen. The Dragonite, the, one of the most sought-after cards in this set. Probably the biggest hit in this set out of that third pack. So, I'm really 
really happy to see the condition on these. I'm really happy to see that Dragonite. I'm going to show you guys that Dragonite one more time before I put that, that away because, oh, that is awesome. So cool to see that. John B says, you brought the good luck. Thank you. No, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Nick D saying congrats. Everybody is saying congrats. Everybody in the chat is saying looks like a 10. I think it honestly, it looks like a 10 to me for sure. Um, we can't say for sure because PSA is going to be the final uh, judge on this, but just looking at that, guys. Oh, can't believe it. Congratulations. So cool to see. But there should be a few more hollows in this box, and we only have three packs left. Ollie N says Dragonite. Now that is a Pokemon. Thank you, Rev. No, thank you. John's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out right now. All right, so here's the thing. We got three packs left, and there should be at least two more hollows left. And you guys know that there's somebody that always joins up in these openings that has some pretty crazy luck. Some luck that you might say is from another planet or possibly another galaxy. And it's going to be. You guys already know. I don't have to tell you. You're going to tell me right now in the chat. We have the one and only Alien up next. Going with two packs. All right. Two Zapdos out of this box for Alien. Now, the odds are really good for the last two people in here because there's going to be one more person after you. Philip C says, Boca Cave quality again with this opening. So clean. Yeah, I just... It really is, and a lot of people, if you guys have opened vintage Pokemon cards, you know that even just opening them out of the pack, the quality might not be there. But in the Poke Cave, it seems like we always get this crazy luck. But here we go. Everybody's in the chat. We're 1,300 live viewers. If you're just tuning in right now, we're pulling out some crazy cards out of this first edition Fossil Booster Box from 1999. We're going to finish it off here. We got three more packs. But we should have a few more hollows in here. And guys, Alien is up next. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets one of the biggest hits out of here. I wouldn't be surprised if he somehow summons another Dragonite out of here. We got to recycle. A Raichu non-hollow is the next card. Now, going by odds. Now, we can't say for sure. But going by odds, the final two packs in this box, if we counted everything correctly, should be hollows. Is that crazy or what? So, Alien. And after Alien, I'm going to say is Jason. They have the final two packs. There should be, according to odds, now it's not 100%, there should be two hollows in these last two packs. So everybody, bring the luck right now. Bring me the Gengar emojis. Bring me the Alien. I want to get, I want to get the Lapras. I want to get the Gengar. And I'll take a double up of Dragonite if we have to. I don't care. Because... We're going to make it happen. We got a Ghastly, an Arbuck. We got a Weezing, Krabby, Geodude. Come on, guys. Let's go. Get the luck moving right now. We got to see these final two packs should have hollows. And I keep saying that because I keep seeing a ton more people join up right now. And I want everybody to know that these final two right here. Come on. Kabuto. Zubat. This is going to be it. BS, I see you. BS is here too with the luck. Come on, guys. Let's go right now. Let's get a huge hit. I'm not going to look again. I'm just going to let you guys tell me. How are we looking? Did we get something cool? Oh, we got a muck as the next hollow out of this box. I'll take it, though. I'll take a muck because a muck in a PSA 10, you're looking at about $250. Now, obviously, it's not the most sought after Pokemon, but a hollow card coming out of a first edition fossil pack. From a box that has been very good quality is outstanding. So check it out. I really like the, you know what? I never really, really looked at the background on this muck, but check that out. It has like a brush strokes with a dark background. It's almost like orangish goldish. Um, really, when you start looking at cards like this, you really start to appreciate them even more. When you look at them up close like that, muck's eyes are half closed here too, but this one is going to the one and only alien. So that just leaves one final pack left, which according to the odds, according to the one in three, which are the odds for these old school Wizards of the Coast era Pokemon cards, should have one final hollow card in here. So guys, I need everything you guys have right now to finish off this box with a huge hit. We wanna get Gengar. We want to get Lapras, Articuno. We will take 
a second Dragonite. Because if you guys saw, we did get a couple Zapdos. So we can double up in here. But I'm going to finish it off with one drink of water for good luck. This is it, guys. Final pack magic for Jason A. Jason, if you're watching right now, this is it. This is your final pack. This is the final pack of the box. And according to the odds. So the odds are on the back here. They should be somewhere. Here it is. Premium card odds are 1 in 33 cards. A premium card is going to be a holo card. There's 11 cards in this pack. So three packs out of three packs should be one holo card. That makes 12 per box on average. We have 11 cards pulled. We only have one pack left. I mean, 11 hollows pulled with only one pack left. That leaves it with one more hollow. So let's go, guys. Let's make it happen right now. We're at 1,400 live viewers. Let's get it. Slow bro. Arbuck. Let's finish it off strong for Jason and get a huge hit out of here. Ammonite. And guys, stick around. So after this last card is pulled, I'm going to show you what the next booster box opening is going to be for next week, which you can join up in. And I'm telling you guys right now, it is going to be insane. It is going to be a huge sought after set. We got a Geo, dude. I'm seeing the luck right now. We got to get it. The final hit. The final big one. What is it going to be? Come on, guys. Let's make it happen. We got a tentacle. Whew, my heart is starting to pump a little bit here. Let's go, guys. Every single good luck emoji that we got. Oh, a Kabutops. Another duplicate hit. But this one it still is a beautiful card. And in a PSA 10, you're talking almost $600 plus. And you guys have seen the quality on these. Let's check out this Kabutops centering. Is looking pretty good. It's not perfect. The top to bottom is off a little bit. Let's check out that hollow. Beautiful. Jason, congratulations on your hollow pull out of this box. You couldn't avoid getting a hollow because there was one more left. But I'm going to put that to the side right now because I'm going to show you what the next booster box opening is. So, guys, let me know right now if you're excited to see what it's going to be. And this box is going to be available on the PokeCave.com as soon as I show it on the screen here. You're going to want to hang out for one second here while I get ready. I got to prepare the website. It only takes one second. Okay. As soon as I show this on the screen, it's going to be available. I am so pumped. Guys, I think I've only opened one. Of, I've opened one of these booster boxes in my life, but it was years and years ago. And this is such a crazy set. You guys are going to be amazed. I'm telling you right now, this set is beautiful. We're going in on a legendary collection booster box. If you guys know about this set in particular, every single pack has at least a reverse card in there and if you guys know about the reverse cards in this set you guys will know that those by themselves can be even more sought after than a hollow card and on top of that you can get a reverse and a hollow out of here the reverse charizard is worth about four grand the hollow charizard five grand in psa 10 there are cards in reverse worth hundreds if not thousands the same with hollows this is gonna be a crazy crazy set you got Charizard and Blastoise on the front there. You have all of these epic, epic Pokemon. Like, every single side is a crazy Pokemon. Gengar, Mewtwo, Machamp, Charizard, Zap. Like, it's just everywhere. Kabutops, a beautiful box. We're going in on that. But besides that, we're going to be jumping in on Thursday, going into a set that I'm so excited to open up as well. Platinum Supreme Victors. Blister packs. You can pull out the level X Charizard, level X Rayquaza. There's going to be 24 blisters. That one's sold out. This one should still be available. I just put it up right now. And guys, besides that, because we do crazy things here in the Poke Cave, we're jumping in on a Burning Shadows case on Sunday. This one's sold out as well. Going in. Nick D says that Legendary Collection is his favorite set. But guys, that is going to finish it for tonight's. First edition Fossil Booster Box opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a ton of fun. We're doing every single set released by Pokemon. We're doing it right here in the Book Cave. All thanks to all of you guys out there for the support. I appreciate every single one of you. And yeah, guys, that is going to be it. Hope you guys had fun watching this and you enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great night. And I will see you on the next one.